host. My name is Zan Tom, and I work for Repo Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll, we'll be taking a look at the options of the Revit software. Here I am in Revit. I open up the, the application menu and click Options. I get to the Options window that controls how the Revit software functions. For example, we can set up things like the save interval reminders for saving and saving to central. Um, we have the ability to adjust the username if you are not signed into your Autodesk account. Your work sharing update frequency, more or less. Your view options for uh, default view disciplines. In the user interface aspect of the options, you can actually check and uncheck uh, what you do or do not want to see in regards to the tabs. So for example, let's say you are an MEP engineer and you never touch the structural content. So if you hit this check mark and make it disappear, this structure tab in the uh, graphical user interface will no longer be visible. And if you check it, it will be visible. You can also change the theme from dark to light, for example. Um, you can go to keyboard shortcuts and add keyboard shortcuts. So for example, uh, close hidden, I'd like it to have a keyboard shortcut of CH. And that's an immediate change. Graphics card, uh, also make sure you have the correct graphics card because you can use things like hardware acceleration and the correct driver. You can do uh, background adjustments as well. And also things like timber dimension text sizes. File locations gives you the ability to specify um, what is visibly seen first, second, third, or fourth in your list here, and adding or removing template files that you may or may not use. You can also specify things like the user files path, the family template files path, and the point cloud files path. Rendering, check spelling, steering wheels, view queue, so on and so forth. All of this information can be adjusted in the options dialog box and it remembers what you've set so the next time you get into the Revit software it holds those settings and that's it thank you for watching my screencast on the Revit options dialog box and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up